guys, it's me Sonia and I'm back with a new um, video for you and it's um, the title is uh, it's going to be speedy backdrops for your Bible and there's three easy ways that I do my backgrounds on, on the Bible just to get those um, those days that you cannot um, that you don't have any time to do um, sit and do a long Bible page a pretty Bible page or not even pretty because it does come out pretty just a Bible page simple Bible page simple backgrounds so um, let's get started the first way that I'm going to show you is the very famous one of the um, the smushing technique and that one is with um, some ink pads and I am going to use distress oxide warm lipstick today and also this Rex Oxide um, Peacock Feather to show that technique. And the other technique is with the acrylic paints and the card swap. It's done with a credit card. Um, well, any form of, you know, I get these in the mail all the time, so I save them to use, my, use for my Bible journaling. I'm going to show that technique. And the, my other favorite technique is the bam, basic simple stenciling on your on your Bible. So those are the three um, speedy backdrops that I'm going to show today and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So let's just get into it and get started and have fun. So let's start with this ink smushing. It's done with a plastic and basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your plastic and start with your Distress Stack um, Oxide and you're just going to apply some Distress Ink to the plastic. Take some water. I don't know if you guys are seeing this. Take some water and apply water to the Distress Oxide. And wet it down. And I like to take my um, paintbrush and simply just for I won't get the smush and simply um, do zigzags on the paint and create a little bit of spreading of my own ink I spread my own ink on the plastic just to get a variety of zigzags on there and not have the ink in one spot so here we go I got some ink I got some um, ink on my plastic here and I am going to simply flip it over and place it on the background of my page. Lift it up and spread the ink around in those empty spots and that will be my first color. Get a baby wipe. and wipe down that plastic so I can use it for my second color. And in between, I'm gonna dry, dry that color up. Just a simple dry, and I am going to do my second color. Again, I am going to simply Paste some ink on the paper, on the plastic, I mean, wet it, take my paintbrush and simply spread around the ink. Spread the ink around and Simply flip. This time I'm going to go down here just to spread the ink around. And simply dry.
And there you go. I have my first simple background. Beautiful. Okay, next up is going to be my card technique. And with the card technique, you simply add some acrylic paint on the card. A little dab of acrylic paint on the card and simply swipe wherever you want ink to be. I'm going to try, um, and these are um, Apple Barrel Lavender that I bought at Walmart and I am going to do some pink and I'm just simply going to add a little bit next to it. This one's called Cameo Pink. The next one is um, Bahama Blue. And I'm going to put it this time on the corner of the card. On the simple corner of the card. Just because I want to do some dots instead of swipes. And I am going to dot. That swipes. That is a speedy background with acrylic paint. Let's try this up a little bit. And as you see, acrylic paint does not bleed through. It has a little shadow, but no bleed through. Now, number three is one of my favorites also. 
is going to be with stencils. I have this stencil here from um, Dilusions Mini Stencil from Ranger. If you can see the little um, um, code here where it's from and the, the, the code there to buy it. I believe I got this from Amazon. Oh no, Etsy. Etsy shop. Yeah, the Etsy shop. It's one of my favorites because it's the little bubble ones. And I am going to be using Distress Dioxide to do this one also. So simply I'm using one of these dabbers to um, apply with the sponge. Simply holding my stencil down and simply rubbing it. Rubbing it down where I want the, the bubbles. To be. And I'm simply going to switch my sponge. These are Tim Holtz dabbers. You can simply get these on Amazon also. And I am going to um, add some of the peacock ones. And there is my third background. Easy, simple, quick ways to do your backgrounds. Easy backgrounds that, that you can make with doing Bible journaling. Like I said, this is number three. This is number two, which is the acrylic paint one the stencil one acrylic paint one and the ink smushing one three speedy background drops for your bible journaling so um i hope these this video was helpful for you um give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw and also leave me questions comments in the um in my um comment section below and tell me which one's your favorite which one of these is your favorite if you have one that's a favorite and it's a very fast one to do please let me know in the comments section below and also um give me a thumbs up and if you like this video if you want to see more of these videos and also um subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet click the little bu um, bell button to, to see when, when my, some of my videos are coming up and also have a blessed day i will see you guys bye bye